Hello my gorgeous friends, on the internet is your boy Vibana Emmanuel and in today's video I'm gonna walk you through an in-depth tutorial on how to create designs on autopilot using a free tool. All you have to do is you simply use a plug and play system and you'll be able to create designs and scale your print on demand business to the moon. And the amazing part about this like I told you is that it is free using complete a complete free tool and I'm gonna reveal all of that in this video. So if you're interested, I encourage you to watch to the end. Do not skip this video, do not skip any part as every part is crucial. This is a very, very, very detailed tutorial on how to create your designs on autopilot using a free tool. And if you're interested in this kind of content, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel, leave me a like button and let me know what you think about this video. In this channel, I make a lot of videos around print on demand and how to make money online passively how to make money that is not dependent on your location or your time so if this sounds like a good idea to you i encourage you to hit the subscribe button and also like this video without further ado let's get started now the very first thing you want to do is open your browser and go to top bubbleindex.com and hit the enter button now from here what you want to do is head over to this design tools and hover over it and click and you want to click the design editor section now if you're not familiar with this top bubbleindex.com it's actually a free resource site and it's kind of like a a, a search is kind of like you know an engine a dashboard that contains all things print on demand that helps you with your print on demand um, research also helps you with uh, automatically creating tags and it also helps you with creating designs and the amazing part about this is that it is completely free i mean this is the tool i use to do most of my tag generation and this is the, um, the tool i use to you know do keyword research i also use it to find trending keywords i made a video on that i encourage you to check in my on my channel but in today's tutorial we are not going to be talking about you know we are not going to be talking about doing keyword research or tag generation today we are going to be talking about using the design editor tool and a lot of people are not aware of this tool and what i'm going to be doing is actually show you how you can use this tool to scale your business scale your designs and max your your upload space per day you know with the public you are you have the opportunity of uploading 50 designs per day and with red Bull, you have the opportunity of uploading 60 designs per day now if you're able to max this design i mean in 10 days you have 500 designs on tip of day and in one month you'll be able to make at least 1500 designs so i mean you want to take advantage of this because the more designs you upload is the more money you make so if you if you find it difficult or if you struggle with creating designs then with this method i'm going to teach you you're going to figure out how to automatically create the designs without doing anything just a simple plug and play process so enough of the talking let's get started now the very first thing i want to do is head over to my designer and in my case i use the corridor as my designer from here this is what i'm going to do i'm going to click on the rectangle to and just select this okay and i'm gonna make this tick like i told you this is gonna be an in-depth tutorial so you want to follow everything i'm gonna be doing here step by step so this is this i've made a rectangle here and i'm gonna i'm gonna copy i'm gonna paste okay this is copy okay I've just pasted and I'm gonna drag it down and I'm gonna paste again and drag it down. So now I have three rectangles and um, I wanna make a little space in here. Okay, now the next thing I wanna do is use the text to and write mentally dating. Okay. now if you're not familiar with what i'm doing actually i'm making 
a template which i'm gonna use to scale out my designs with the tool i'm gonna be showing you in a moment and um, the design template i want to actualize is the template of mental dating and um, it's kind of a template that you know it, it, it enables you put in the names of your favorite um name of your favorite celebrities or someone you like and this is an example of what i'm talking about single taking mentally dating v so that's what i aim at actualizing so from here i'm gonna copy and paste and take this up here and write single okay i'm gonna paste turn this to taking okay that's that for that i want to bold in this okay and i want to take it closer and the next thing i want to do is actually get this good tick svg i mean i'm just gonna click on images yeah and i'm gonna copy image come over here and paste it okay that didn't work out way, so i'm gonna just save it to my computer okay now i'm, not, I'm gonna drag it over to my browser and there you have it so from here i'm gonna change the color to red make it smaller and that's the advantage of having an svg design with an svg design you can change the colors you can edit it as much as you want so this is gonna be the template we're gonna be using but i want to make this white i want to make everything white so i'm gonna change this to white and um for the boxes i'm gonna make the outline to be white so let's put a background here and see how it looks so this is how it's gonna look single taking mentally dating so i'm gonna delete this and i'm gonna export this okay like i told you this is an in-depth tutorial so you want to follow everything i want to follow everything step by step so i'm currently going to save this okay there you go so we have our design template right now we have our design template right now okay so this is it this is the template so i'm going to head back to my browser and from here i want to come back to the design editor and the first thing I want to do is click on image and go over to this and I'm going to import it. Okay. Now the next thing I want to do is actually change this background color to black. So you can see our image has been imported over here. yeah okay so it's been said now the very next thing i want to do is actually um plug in the names of whatever i want to put maybe the names of youtubers the names of footballers the names of actors or actresses as the list as the case may be but in my total in my case i'm going to be using the name of um youtubers so what i want to do is actually come over to google and search for pewdiepie related youtubers and i'm gonna click on this link and from here it's gonna show me all youtubers that are related to pewdiepie and the cool thing about this is as you can see pewdiepie has over a hundred million subscribers and what this implies is there are a whole lot of fans that will be searching for his merchandise online and um if you properly make a design from him i mean you stand a, ch a chance of making a whole lot of money online so that's the whole idea about what I'm, I'm about what I'm doing right now. So what I'm going to do right now is come over here and copy the name of all of these YouTuber YouTubers, and from here what I'm going to do is right click and copy. So from here right now I'm going to go over to my Notepad and paste. Now you can see now there's a situation with this. The problem with this is that there's a duplication. There's a duplication of all of this so what i want to do is i want to get rid of the duplication i just want single terms so what i'm going to do is head over to this site called textfixer.com textfixer.com 
So from this text visa.com, I want to click on text tools and um, I'm going to search for duplicate, remove duplicate lines. And from here, it's pretty much simple. I'm going to go back to my notepad and con copy all of this and paste on this and click on remove duplicate lines. And it's going to go ahead and remove all of the duplicate. As you can see, all of the duplicate has been removed. So I'm going to copy this and head over to Microsoft Word and I'm going to paste this. So you can see we have all related YouTubers to PewDiePie. So from here, what I want to do right now is Ctrl A, copy all of this, Ctrl H. And from here, what I want to do is I'm going to put in this up arrow with using pressing Shift, Sys and press P and replace with I'm going to put comma and space and replace all and say no close so you can see what this has done is that it has actually brought in all of the youtubers together and you know eliminated the whole spacing between all the text with a comma so from here what I'm gonna do right now is pretty much simple I'm gonna copy all of this right now and head back to my browser my designer here and what i want to do right now is i'm going to head over to multiple and um that's that i just clicked multiple i'm going to click dynamic text so the next thing i want to do right now is click on this one of these on this my imported image then click on the background and change this background to let's say yellow Okay, so you can see this is dynamic text. I'm going to click back on this dynamic text and um, I want to change the font of this dynamic text to something else. So um, I think I'm going to change it to Ox World and um, make it bold. Yep. And from here, I want to change this to white because I mean, I designed the image which I just imported is white. I know this looks a bit complicated at the moment, but just keep watching this video to the end. You're going to figure out what I'm doing in a Jiffy. So um, I just position this, you can see a bit away from this first line. I, I positioned it in the middle. So you want to be conscious of that. So from here, the next thing I want to do is pretty much easy. What I'm going to do right now is click on multiple and this dynamic test, I'm going to paste and from here i'm going to click on generate and say okay okay it seems that i have copied more than 50 um words at a time so i'm going to just copy these first three lines copy close i'm going to paste the first three lines okay and this should go so uh, I'm just going to sit back and watch it create my design for me automatically. So you're going to see this by yourself. So I don't know if you can see this because I mean, it's a bit, um, okay, let me change the background color so you can see, um, what just happened. So I'm going to change this to black. Let me just adjust this a bit. Okay. And come back to multiple and click on generate. So give it a minute, give it a minute, it's gonna go ahead and automatically create all of these designs for you. You can see it has gone on to create all of these designs for you. How easy can it get? I mean, it doesn't get easier than this. So this is pretty much how we go about doing that. Um, one thing I wanna do is I wanna change this font. I think I'm gonna go with um, Ubuntu, okay. I'm not comfortable with that. I can go with um let's say Rubik. Okay. And um let me unbold this. Let me just italize it. Okay. So let's see how this is gonna turn out. I'm gonna click on generate. Okay, give it a minute. Give it a minute. It's gonna automatically create all of my designs for me. Okay, you can see. Now one thing I, now one cool thing about this is that you can go on and you know manually position all of this. You can see this one is kind of protruding out of 
line so you can actually do that and make it a bit smaller and um, that's that just click on save changes and you can see it has be positioned and um, i can do that for this also i'm gonna click on this make it a bit smaller position it rightly and save so that's one cool thing about this you can manually i just love this but um the next thing i want to do is i want to take away the background because i don't want to download this with the background i actually made a video on this that on how to remove background and how to create simple text based designs with a background you can check that on my channel but in this our case i mean we'll have an opportunity of downloading it without a background so why would we even want to um do with the background so i mean you can do what works for you um in this case right now i think i'm done the next thing I want to do right now is actually change this background to white. Now what this does, does is that it makes this to actually be on a transparent background. So from here I want to click on multiple and click on generate. Okay. It's going to generate and you can see it's actually on a transparent background. And I'm going to click on download all photos that's that for that it has downloaded so i'm gonna close and i'm gonna copy this and i'm gonna take it over here and from here what i want to do is okay what i want to do is extract this extract files okay it's gonna go ahead and extract okay see so okay that's that for that all our designs are currently here with the transparent background and it actually went ahead and renamed all of our designs so you don't go about you know naming these designs you can see i just created 24 designs out of the moon i'm gonna go ahead and upload this so you see okay let me head over to my t public account tpublic.com okay i'm just logging to one of my demo accounts okay and um, upload the design and I'm gonna upload this one of those designs so you see how it looks okay let's go with this first one and i uh, can actually go ahead and copy this design the name of the design and just paste it okay i'm gonna get rid of this one I'll copy this paste paste okay um that's showing you how this is gonna look and make this on the black you can see how this looks single dating mentally dating this so that's pretty much very simple very very simple you can see that that's on a transparent background and you can see i created 24 designs in under one minute i created 24 designs in under one minute let's go ahead and let me just upload like two more designs so you can see okay now um i don't i'm not a fan of actually manually uploading designs i use automation and you know to kind of scale my designs and um, i'm going to be making a video in the future on how to upload the designs via automations if you're interested in this video i encourage you to let me know in the comment section below if you want me to make a video on that on how to you know set up your system such that it automatically uploads designs for you putting the design title putting the main tag putting the description and all of that let me know if you're interested in that and then i'm gonna make a video regarding that okay okay you can see that this is actually very very simple a very simple way to create designs to create designs on automation 
it took me less than a minute to make all of these designs and can see that they are pretty much clean designs sweet nice looking designs very sweet nice looking designs okay so this is the next um design i'm gonna copy this okay come over here and that's all i want I'm gonna paste paste i'm gonna check this okay I'm gonna click on this. I'm gonna say next design. This is how the design interface on TPublic looks. It's very, very simple. If you're not on TPublic already, I encourage you to check out the channel on how to properly create a TPublic account. That video has actually blown up. I encourage you to check it out on the channel. I mean, that's it. That video walks you through how to create T public account the right way. It walks you through how to create a T public account the right way and actually make your designs to show up in search results. So if you're interested in starting out your journey on T public, I mean you can check out that video. T public is very very easy. It's a very very easy interface, you know, to create designs. I mean you can see I just created almost five designs in under two minutes. So that's that on how to create designs using um using the um top bubble index design editor too now i know you're thinking you're thinking if this is limited to only text um designs well i'm gonna show you another way to actually go ahead and use this same tool to scale out your designs so what i'm gonna do right now is actually click on restart so this is gonna go ahead and refresh the page so that has been done i'm gonna now set this background to black and um what i want to do right now is actually go over to my computer you know and pull out one of these designs yeah i'm gonna take this design and um i'm gonna come back to my browser and paste it here okay now i want to show you how we can use this to actually scale another kind of um, design that's what i pretty much am aiming at right now um okay no 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 let's close this come to match 19 come over here come over here copy this come to match 19 paste this so i'm gonna copy this i'm gonna let this be and um i'm gonna come over here and load image come from March 19 and i'm gonna copy this image and um, my image is here i'm gonna change the background to white yeah i'm gonna copy this make this a bit small now if you're wondering how i was able to design this to get this design i got this from my creative fabrica you can see this creative fabrica and these are my downloads I mean, these are my downloads for Creative Fabrica. So you can, Creative Fabrica, if you're not familiar, is actually a marketplace that enables you to purchase artworks. And I mean, you can get started on Creative Fabrica with as low as $1. Yeah, $1 to gain access to all of their designs for a full month. So I encourage you to check them out. I mean, you can actually use Creative Fabrica to scale out your designs. So with that being said i'm going to show you how to go about doing this so this is her fight is our fight okay one thing i'm not right now is i'm going to search for common diseases and i just got a list of common diseases so i'm going to copy this okay copy this and i'm going to come over to word i'm going to control a delete paste all of that okay no control z i'm going to come to um not pardon paste it and copy from paste notepad here i'm going to control a control h repeat the same stuff here you know arrow p then comma space replace all of that no no copy this and from here i'm going to head over to my browser and here i'm going to click on multiple 
I'm going to change this here. Um, this is dynamic text. I'm going to delete this. And I'm going to say multiple dynamic text one. Okay. Let me change this background to black. Okay. So I'm going to click on multiple. I say dynamic text. Um, this is not working out as I planned. Okay. Let's um, delete this. Multiple. Okay. Yeah. So let's change this background to white. It's dynamic text too. So we'll come here. I'm gonna position this to. I think this is this is okay this way. Let's just make it a bit smaller. And I'm gonna come over to multiple dynamic text too. I'm gonna paste that. I'm gonna generate. Okay, give it a moment. Okay, it's loading up. It's loading up. It's loading up. Hmm. Okay, seems there's an issue with this. Um, I want to start this from scratch, so I'm gonna delete this. Come to topbobindex.com. Click on Design Tools, Design Editor. Now from here, <laughs> okay. I want to click on Restart. Okay, yeah. And from here, I want to load the image. So like this, come over here, make it a bit smaller. I mean, this is kind of one of the. It's just a minor glitch with the system, and I hope you're following along. Now the next thing is I want to click on a multiple, multiple. I'm gonna say dynamic text. Yeah, from here, I want to click on multiple again. Dynamic text. I want to paste all of this, and then I want to make this a bit smaller. Okay. Yeah, I can make it bold, and um, click on multiple again. And click on generate and see how that's gonna turn out okay it's loading yeah you can see i just created i mean how many designs i just created 27 designs clean looking designs and i can manually adjust all of these to fit in rightly so i can make this a bit smaller come over here make this a bit smaller and that's that. I just want to click on save changes. And that's pretty much clean. I mean, all of them are looking clean. So from here, I'm going to download all photos. Yeah. And I'm going to copy this over to March 19. Here. I'm going to, you know, unzip this. It says OK. And um, that's that. So from here, you can head over to my store and copy, upload a design. And okay. come here. Okay. I'm gonna take this first design chicken post. I'm gonna upload it here and let it load. Why is loading? I'm gonna go ahead and name it chicken post. This um your artwork is not large enough. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and you know let's see what's the size of this. This is two thousand. Yeah, it should, it should go. I mean, yeah, it should go. It's kind of strange. Okay. Yeah, that went through. So you can see this is gonna be on a white background, and that's that. This. Is. Okay. Let's make this a bit smaller. 
Oh, it seems okay. Rocky Mountains Potted Viva. So I'm gonna come here and copy. I'm gonna paste this, paste this, paste this, and um, name this as Viva. And from here, you can just publish the design. Okay. I hope you're flowing with this. It's a pretty simple tool and it's a free tool. I mean, the, 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 the capacity of what you can do with this tool is enormous. I mean, it all boils down to your creativity. It all boils down to your creativity on how wise you can use the platform. It all boils down to how creative you are. I mean, with this tool, you can go ahead and max out your upload slot per day. You can max out your upload slot per day simply by you know combining um your creativity with you know these two you can max out your upload slot per day okay this is for tetanus i'm gonna copy gonna paste this paste this paste this so i'm gonna go ahead and remove this number okay this appears to be too small now i believe the reason why this is turning out to be too small is actually because of the design interface i believe if this is a bit bigger this is a bit bigger okay and um this then okay, let me just i can actually use this to spring back so let this come so this is a full scale editor is a full scale editing software you know from here head back to multiple and I click on generate and it's gonna make the images larger so that's pretty much how you go about doing that and i don't know bore you with you know quickly downloading all of this and you know starting out what i mean you can see that this is a lot more larger and um it's gonna require me editing this you know making this a bit smaller so it fits on the design so it's pretty much how you go about you know fixing that issue of size pretty much how you go about fixing the issue of size like i said just click on any design you want to edit and you know, make it a bit smaller and save all changes and that's pretty much how you go about doing that you know so this is how you use a free tool i mean you don't pay for this tool you don't even need to register to use this tool just come over here and start designing and scaling out your designs let me know if you like this video and if you want more videos on automation like this like i told you there's another um tool i use to automatically upload designs to all platforms i mean if you want a video on that let me know click the like button if you like this video leave me a thumbs up also comment what you think about this video share it with your friends peace and god bless